Hi guys, in this lecture we are going to learn about the BJT and BJT characteristics. Now, we all know how the BJT characteristics looks like, right? The, these are the input characteristics, whereas these are the output characteristics. Okay, now we are going to plot the same. Let's see how to do it. First, after you open LT Spice, you go to File and say New Schematic. Okay, now we have a new schematic in front of us. So, what all components do we need? We need a BJT, we need two resistors and two voltage sources. So, let's see how it works. First, click on this AND gate symbol. When you hover your mouse over it, you'll uh, come to know that there is something known as component written there. So, all your components are inside this, okay? So, what do we need? We need a BJT. We need an NPN transistor. So, I'll type NPN. Here it is, our BJT, which is NPN. Then say OK. Now, now after I say OK, you see that my mouse pointer has changed into the BJT symbol itself. Okay, so I click at the center of the screen. Now, I have my BJT ready. Now, my mouse pointer has not yet changed back to normal. Okay, so it hasn't changed to arrow key yet. So, if I suppose want one more BJT, so I'll click again and so on. But now I don't want a BJT, I want something else. So, I just right click and the pointer, the BJT mouse disappears and I get a plus symbol. Now, I have these extra BJTs here and I don't need them, right? So, what will I do? I need to erase them. So, there is no option of erase. We have just cut option. So, this scissor symbol here is cut. So, you just go and cut. So, that is exactly like erase. And then you right click again. In any mode that you go, be it wire mode, node mode or any component that you are placing, after you clip click and place the component you right click so that your selection is gone okay now that we have our bjt let us take resistors now first we will go for voltage source so i'll write voltage here in the components again so this is my voltage source i'll say okay now i need two voltage source so i have one here and I'll keep one here and then right click okay now after voltage source I need resistors now as you can see here the resistor is present so I, I don't need to actually go inside the component and take out a resistor so I'll just click on resistor now if I just click the resistor will be in the vertical position but I want it in the horizontal position so, what do we do? That is only for the circuit to look neat and readable. But still, can you see the easier? One is rotate and the other is mirror. So, when you click on rotate, you have your resistor rotated. Or you can just click Ctrl R and it rotates. Okay. So, I place my resistor here and one resistor over here okay now what is missing ground this what you see is ground this triangular symbol is ground so i click on ground and instead of putting one ground for all connections i will be putting different ground so one is here here and here Okay, now I need to connect them. How do I connect them? We have this wire symbol here. The wire symbol is used for connections. So, click and click. See, the connection is made. Click on the first and click on the next block. Connection is made. Okay, now what if your resistor was placed somewhere at a different position and you wanted some 90 degrees turns so it's like click click and click there you have now I want my 
wire only up to this point I don't want to take it further so what will I do right click but now I don't want the wire itself so I want to cut it so I'll just cut the wire then again right click wire click click again so here we are our circuit is ready but we haven't yet named the parameters I mean this is a transistor which is NPN but which model we don't know this is a resistor this is R1 this is R2 but the value of the resistance is not known so what do we do we right click on the component and then say pick new transistor so there are multiple transistors available here you can pick any one I will like to go with BC 547B say ok so now let's right click on this resistor and change the value to 62 kilo ohm so I'll just type 62k and say ok then I'll change the value of this resistor to 2 kilo ohm and then I'll say ok so what do I need here for this voltage source I will say the DC value is 0 since we will be using a DC sweep parameter dot DC as the spice directive we will be sweeping either this voltage or this voltage but let us just name so what do I do on this V2 I right click and I name it as VBE since it is connected between base and emitter terminal I name it as VBE and similarly since I have this cursor here I'll name it as VCE and then say ok what voltage will I supply here so that depends on what analysis do I want to perform initially I want to perform the input characteristics so I need to set some VCE voltage right so I'll just set it as 1 volt and now I need to write the spice directive now there are two ways of writing the spice directive either I click on this dot op which is here and I just write the spice directive DC and so on or I click on this run symbol and then we have all the directives here it is in the form of a dialog box so what do we need we need DC sweep so we can write the name of the source we want to sweep so that will be VBE and what type of sweep etc etc so let me first tell you how the syntax work this is the syntax dot DC is the spice directive then we have the source name the start voltage the stop voltage and increment this is if you just want to sweep one particular voltage and if you want to plot transfer characteristics so you we need to sweep two voltages or two currents simultaneously right so what do we do we add one more so plus sign only indicates if you want to print up to the next line so enter is not taken and you want to say the dot DC directive is uh, valid for this statement too so that is why you have this plus here otherwise the statement is something like this itself so two source names so source name 1 and source name 2 start stop and increment this is how the dot DC parameter is so I click on run I want to perform a DC sweep and I want to sweep the voltage VBE from 0 to 1 in steps of 0 sorry 1, 0 0.1 and then I say ok ok now here what we have done is we haven't named any net any wire where you want to measure so when you right click and then you say add trace you won't get 
the proper voltage or current which you want to see what we can do like we did for diode we can just click on the schematic click on the label net and say I want to measure current IC so I'll say IC okay and I'll put this on this particular node and then voltage VBE that will be available then I say run again so now when I do right click and add trace so I have VBE which is being swept and I should have VIC but I don't want VIC I want current so what do I do the current is flowing through R1 right so I just say I R1 okay I'll cancel this and say okay this is what I get now what you see the VB is going from 0 to some value right what we will do we'll use the cut and we'll remove VB huh. now what you see is the voltage on x-axis and current on the y-axis but it looks the other way around right this shouldn't be the graph that is because when we measure we are measuring the current across R1 but what we want the current flowing out of this particular transistor right so we will use this probe that you see the red one is for measuring voltage and this what you see is for current and if I take it across a device this measures the current flowing through that device but I want the current coming out of the transistor so I am probing here so this is the current coming out of the transistor which is IC Q1 right uh, I'll just remove this and yes here we have our characteristics now if you don't find them looking that good what you can do is you can just right click and change the increment to 0 0.01 so you have multiple steps and then say run so you will have a smooth curve okay so here we have since our voltage maximum is 1 we won't get the curve increase what we do let's try increasing this too right click and say it is 12 and okay yes and then it saturates because we are applying VB only up to 1 volt we can apply it say up to 5 volts and again simulate we have a characteristics so this is the input characteristics now that we are done with the input characteristics let us go ahead with the output characteristics now what will we have to do for plotting the output characteristics we need to sweep VCE and these are different values of currents IB now since we are using a voltage source here we don't exactly know what is the current that is being passed correct so we can find that from here since this is the voltage VB which is being swept and these are the values of current so I say I want to plot 20 microampere which is somewhere beyond 0.5 volts then 40, am, 40 micro 60 micro and so on so what am I going to say I am going to as for VBE to change such that I get different values of currents okay so now let us plot the output characteristics 
what will we have to do for the same? We need to sweep VBE as well as VCE. So I have set it both to 0 volts initially and I will have to change this particular statement which is the SPICE directive. So I right click and I will change the first source to VCE. Now the reason for the same being whichever is the first source forms the x axis and the second source whatever it is it will just sweep the value but it won't form the x axis. So that is why we first sweep VCE from 0 to say 20 volts in 1 volt increment ok and I will sweep the second source which is VBE. Now what will be the start and stop value? We usually apply currents right? We want different currents. So what we will do? We will first not sweep the second source ok. We will first keep the value of VBE up to some say 600 millivolt. Now the reason for me keeping 600 millivolt is previously as you saw in the graph we are applying voltage and we are not giving current and what do we want? We want the values have different currents right. So for 600 millivolt I get some current which drives. So I just keep it as 600 millivolts and I simulate. What am I going to plot? I am going to plot IC which is this. So as you can see a nice curve right. So let's do one more thing. Let's change this value to say 500 millivolts. Say OK and simulate. Yes, the curve changes. So now what are we going to do? We will use the second source as VBE and sweep with the start value from 500 millivolts. Stop value is 600 millivolts and with the increment of 20 millivolt. Okay, so we will be plotting some 5 values, right? So let's say run. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? This is the output, output characteristics. 